Rural Americans spend far more of their income on energy than any other group. They tend to live in smaller homes and have lower incomes, so a 2 to 3 kilowatt PV system would be the right size. Except there's a perverse pricing dynamic in residential solar in which smaller systems are priced at much higher dollars per watt because of the fixed costs embedded in the installer's business model. Hardware has become cheap, but soft costs can be as high as 80% of total costs for 2 kilowatt rooftop PV. I'm Dennis Nickerson, founder and CEO of Portable Solar, and for the past 11 weeks, we've been developing a solar canopy for manufactured homes. We've been around for a couple years working on a ground-based PV system, but that's under separate government funding, and we can't mix the two, so the solar canopy product was just born this January. Both products, though, share this in common. They do away with the need for a solar installation company and with it a significant portion of the soft costs. Manufactured homes account for about 10% of all new homes in the U.S. each year, 95,000 units. About 22 million Americans live in a factory-built home, with two-thirds of them in rural areas. So having a low-cost solar solution for manufactured homes could go a long way to alleviating the energy burden on rural Americans. The leading builders want a solution, and they have tried. But they've partnered with solar installers who want to replicate on the factory floor the same process that occurs at the job site. This has been disruptive to plant operations and consumed far too much time. Our approach is different. We ship our product on a flatbed in two and three panel cartridges with all of the panels, microinverters, and wiring already in place. A forklift is used to remove the cartridges and place them in position to be attached to the wall studs, which one or two employees can do in a few minutes. We provide metal struts that are attached to the wall and connect to the bottom of the cartridge so the system can be stored flush to the wall for transporting to the job site. Once there, it takes just a few minutes to extend the struts so the canopy can be placed into position and the wires connected to the electrical panel. They're good to go. Those are our end users, but we're selling to the manufactured home builders, and the big three have an almost 80% market share. That means we can almost do TAM by customer. Obviously, our customer discovery is focused on the new home market for the big three, but we eventually want to develop a retrofit solution for the estimated 7 million manufactured homes out there, many of which still have mortgages with the big three, creating an incentive for them to earn more interest income from their mortgage subsidiaries. It's also profitable for the homeowner. A 2.2 kilowatt system costing $2 a watt with a 15-year term at 4.5% and financed 100% would be cash flow positive from day one. That assumes no incentives. Portable Solar couldn't have done this without Texi Solar and NTA as partners. Texi's founder, Samuel Truthseeker, is our de facto CTO and has been involved in over 30 new product development initiatives in the solar industry. NTA is the largest of five companies hired by HUD to inspect and certify manufactured home plants. NTA oversees 63 of them. HUD has complete jurisdiction over manufactured homes. If the home passes inspection, it is delivered to the site and the local officials have no authority over that home. Meaning if we can develop our solar canopy to be HUD compliant, then it is considered approved for 10% of all new homes in the U.S. each year. In just 11 weeks, we've gone from an idea to detailed CAD drawings that have been signed off by a structural engineer, we've passed the first round of engineering scrutiny for HUD code compliance, and have gotten our first round of feedback from the engineering team at Clayton. In the set round, we'll build several prototypes of two and three panel cartridges using connector protolabs. We'll conduct wind testing at NREL and or Sandia, plus NTA has signed up as a connector since they have two wind testing facilities, plus their experts on the HUD code. Of course, we'll continue with customer discovery, both the plants and the end users, and also bring on staff to ramp up our activities. Thank you.